This is not highlight, this is me sweating my ass off because it's hot here in Japan. It's now summer and people are trying to get that summer body. I feel you, man. I know you want to be looking good and feeling good this summer and be like, Mm, 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 snatched. My name is Cornelia, but you can call me Corny, and this is my channel, Corny Cut, where I give advice, tips, story times, vlogs, things that are about Japan, things that are about me, things that are about life. So if you like what you see, then don't forget to subscribe now or at the end of the video. So let's get into it. I've already kind of discussed the story of um my journey to losing weight but i haven't really broken it down and discussed exactly what i did to lose weight so this video is for those people who are interested in the kind of tips and hints and tricks that you can do guys disclaimer i am in no way a professional um i just did a lot of research and spoke to a lot of professionals for advice some of the first things that I really needed to adjust was firstly my way of thinking, my mentality, um, the kind of give up mentality had to go out the window and I had to kind of tell myself that this was a life change that I was going to make. It's not some fad diet, this is a life change and I'd really recommend to get yourself into that kind of mindset too. I feel like... Um, if you think that it's something short term, then you might just relapse and go back. It's normal for people to fluctuate in weight and stuff like that. It happens, especially as a female. Uh, we have that time of the month and people tend to gain during those times. Also, when you're weight training and stuff, you gain um, body muscle. So that's another way of gaining weight. And it's not that you're putting on fat. It's just that different things are happening with your body. So bear that in mind too. If you don't have motivation, guys, don't be afraid to spend the extra cash on a personal trainer. I would highly recommend you have someone to report to, to respond to, someone to train you that knows what they're doing, that can sort out your diet and stuff like that. I'm very lucky. I had that advice for, and friends. I have friends that are PTs. So I was very lucky to have that advice for free. Um, and I worked at a gym at the time. So I just had all this access to information. Um, but I'd recommend if you really struggle with that to kind of look into having that support system there. It will really benefit you. I am a calorie counter, guys. I live by it. I do keep an eye on like sugars and fat and um, salt. One of the things that I did was download an app on my phone. It was, oh, oh my God. I think it was my calories or something like that. Oh, I've totally forgotten. I'll put a picture of the app that I use. What you have to do first is input like your weight, your weight goal and you know exercise that you do and things like that so it'll ask you a list of questions and then once you put that in it will calculate how much you have to consume every day and um basically it's like an electronic diary uh, like a weight loss food diet diary thing and um so i'd input what i ate every single day and it would calculate if i'd gone over or under or if you know it was just bang on my limit of what i needed to eat speaking of calculating i found this website um, and you do the same thing. You put in your height, your weight, your age, how active you are, and it will calculate how many meals you should be eating per day. And you can have like the option of like five meals per day, three meals per day, uh, four meals per day or something like that. And it will calculate how much you should be consuming for each meal. Um, I've been told that it's re recommended to like snack a lot and have like smaller meals and snack a lot. Some people do it in different ways. Some people have a big breakfast and then just reduce, reduce, reduce um, towards the evening. For me, um, what worked was having a big breakfast because I was working, um, at the time I was back in England working um, in education. So, you know, working with kids, it really consumes a lot of energy. So I just needed that right amount to get me started. I'd like to have things like porridge, um, a banana, um, I don't, I'm not really a smoothie girl. I feel like I'm consuming nothing. I like, I need to chew. So I'd have stuff like that maybe. Um, a muller rice. Oh my God, I used to love muller rice. That was the ish. And a banana at the side um, for breakfast. My favourite was probably eating porridge or oatmeal because I feel like that expands. So it's very filling for me. Um, and I also had yoghurt, muesli or granola and f like fresh fruit. So I used to mix it up now and again, but those were my favourite for breakfast. Lunchtime, um, I probably consumed something like um, 
What would I consume for lunchtime? Like an apple, so a piece of fruit again. I don't consume smoothies, but like a soup during lunchtime was fine. A sweet potato, that's what it was. Sweet potato and butternut squash soup. And um, that was really delicious for me. And then I'd have like a biscuit, some kind of snack on the side. Um, and that was my like lunch. Um, and for dinner, I'd usually have like a chicken salad. Guys, I know you're like, oh my God, she ate salad. But dude, when I tell you that the salads that I make are not your ordinary salads, they are huge, like this size. I still have huge salads. I'm so extra. I used to grill my onions, grill my peppers, so it kind of became like a Mediterranean salad. And I do that, then I put some sweet chili sauce, not too much, but sweet chili sauce and vinegar and mix it up. It was bomb. Another thing I'd recommend is to not use so many dressings on your food, like not too much gravy. I had to really reduce that. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love freaking Bistum and I've been conserving this and waiting for Christmas time because that's when I need my Sunday chicken roast dinner. Okay, and oh God. Apple cider vinegar, adding that to your water, that does help. I do feel it benefits and flushes out my system. Another thing that I, did was like cut up a lemon and put that inside of my water when I was drinking it. That will cut down the fat. I haven't got a real lemon guys, I've just got lemon juice with me just as an example. Um, what else did I use? I also used to drink um, this specific tea, mint and green tea. Green tea has a lot of health benefits. This is what I used to drink alongside a lot of things, especially like my porridge. I would have green tea and porridge with a little bit of sugar and that was like the ish for me. I changed my milk to almond milk. Like a lot of little things, if you make a change to something of a healthier option, it will really start to show. Even replacing like a certain snack that you love to have that's high in fat and sugar, um, just replacing it with a simple banana can really affect your diet and really help benefit you. Replacing spaghetti with um, courgettes or um, with the clear glass noodles that are supposed to be lower in calorie. They're, I think they're made out of, there's some that are made out of algae or something like that. Switching white rice to brown rice. I tried not to cut out carbs completely because I feel like you just, life is about a balance, a healthy balance. And I feel like if you cut things out, for the long term, it's not gonna work really. You might just end up going back to it. So I wanted this to be forever. And those are just a few examples of the things that I used to eat. And if I did snack, it was usually on um, like, I don't know, like carrot sticks or um, cucumber with hummus. I used to enjoy that. Fruit I used to snack on a lot. Or a yogurt I used to snack, um, snack? I used to snack on a lot as well. The most meats that I used to consume was salmon and white chicken white chicken chicken's always white what am i talking about chicken <laughs> um not fried usually ovened or grilled i did not fry anything and i used to have a george foreman grill you just spray it down lightly with one of those olive oil spray things and then tss, cook your ish another tip is to prep guys Sometimes when you're hungry and you come back from work or school or whatever it is that you're doing, you just feel ravenous. I don't know about you, but you just, you don't care. You're just like, I need to consume something. Like, and you start right in the fridge and you're like, okay, that'll do, eat it, gone. And then the damage is done. So what I used to do is prep a lot of my food. Like I'm so, I was so obsessed. I literally had my own fridge. My mom purchased me a fridge for Christmas. <laughs> my own fridge it's not actually in the kitchen it's in the spare room it's probably still there but that was my fridge and freezer like a full-sized one not a little diddy one and I used to put all my prep meals in there all my frozen food like everything I was set up for the week so when I came back from work I knew what I was eating I had it prepared I used to kind of weigh things from time to time and weigh yourself in the morning guys before you've consumed anything because you will fluctuate throughout the day and if you keep weighing yourself you're gonna be like oh my god I gained that much just in like three or four hours what the hell as a child i was told like there's starving children around the world so you know you should eat your food clear your plate one of the recommendations that i watched on tv don't know where the hell it was i think it was some dude talking like some specialist some doctor and um he literally had everybody in the audience sit down with like these fake paper plates and um these utensils and they were like practicing how to like eat slowly and then on the paper plate it kind of divided on how much um you should be consuming so that something like a fistful of everything the highest percentage should be um vegetables and the least amount should be your carbs and then meat is like the in between i can't remember the percentages guys so this is what the dude was saying to the audience like it's okay take it slow put down your knife and fork 
let it process a little bit you know take your time there's no rush the food ain't going nowhere so that's something that i had to practice with myself and it actually worked and also drinking water alongside my meals filled me up so um i found that i was consuming a lot less the longer that i took to eat and the more water i consumed at the same time um the more it benefited me and the more that it filled me up side note he also said to stop when you're 80 percent full Oh yeah, yeah. One of the main things I do highly, highly, highly recommend is to consume a lot of water. I cannot promote it enough. It really, 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 really helps. Anyone will tell you this that is on a diet, weight loss, lifestyle journey, water. I'm gonna link the website that I used that kind of told me how much water I should consume. And I swear it was two liters a day. So I used to be very strict with myself. I used to make sure I'd finish that by the end of the day. And in the morning, like I used to get a big old glass and just, you know, slowly try and chug it down. Um, and then I used to carry like a portable, um, what, what's the word? Flask, flask, that's the word. I used to carry like a portable flask with me to work. So that would be like filled to the brim. And I'd make sure I consume that before I get home. And then when I get home, I just keep going until I've reached my limit. Um, I feel like it's a lot of dedication and you have to be very strict with yourself and you have to know um, your limits. Um, what I mean by limits is when I was on my period or um, I just felt the need for something sweet, I kind of had to already organize something that was like my go-to thing. Um, I'm talking about if you really want to be on it, guys. Like, I, of course, now and again, I would have like a little bit of chocolate just to get that sweetness into my system. Like, I feel like we all need that from time to time, but I'd only give myself a treat if I'd worked really hard at the end of the week. So weekends or one day in the week was like my cheat day kind of thing, but I wouldn't go too hard. It wasn't like a crazy cheat day. It was just one like snack, one thing, because um, I feel like if you treat yourself to McDonald's or something every week, it's not gonna benefit your body. You're just gonna be undoing all that hard work. Find the things that you enjoy or can stand eating, because if you don't like eating it, you're not gonna feel excited to eat. And you're, it's, it's just gonna be like, what is your life if you don't enjoy your food? That's the same with the gym. If you can find something like dancing or Zumba or something, I did, I tried Zumba. That's one of the first things that kind of got me into working out, like eased me in. Um, and that worked for me. I really enjoyed it. And because I enjoyed it, it kind of motivated me to try other things and keep coming back and losing weight. Um, I worked out about five times to six times to seven times a week. It depended on how hard I wanted to go, but the very least, was about four to five um i was a gym bunny <laughs> i worked out so much guys um don't be afraid to sweat don't be afraid to use weights that's another tip um i was scared that i was gonna like gain muscles and look like a man but because of the way that we are genetically structured especially as women um it's very hard for us to gain muscle in all the wrong places we just become more snatched girl okay all this flab it was like, just suck it right in. So don't be afraid to use weights. Um, I did a lot of cardio, a lot of running. Um, I did. I took a lot of classes at my um, gym. Um, stuff like spin class and circuit classes, which involve weights and cardio and like push-ups and um, sit-ups and stuff like that. Um, but I did prefer working out alone from time to time because of the timing of my work. So. I would go and jog on the treadmill, but I'd also lift weights and, um, oh yeah, I used to deadlift and things like that. That was fun. Um, and yeah, just weights and cardio. Maybe about like 70% cardio and 30% weights or something like that, depending on the day. And then I'd shift it around and do my back and do my arms instead of this and that. In terms of working out, I love another thing that I used to enjoy doing is going shopping. <laughs> and buying new gym gear. I know it's silly, but I used to get excited for wearing something to the gym and even like um, creating a certain playlist with all my favorite bumps and jams that really get me motivated. I do that all the time and like switch it out to keep me motivated. All these little things add to the formula of success. So I know it sounds stupid now, maybe sounds really obvious, but like I'm literally telling you everything I did to make me feel like, yeah, I can do it. I used to watch motivational videos to get me into the mood of like wanting to train and like watching inspirational stories. One of my biggest inspirations, I know it's crazy, don't judge me. I love trash TV, right? No offense, but I do. Nicole Palazzi, 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 Palazzi. I forgot how to say her name. Snooki from 
Jersey Shore. She was a party girl, she enjoyed her food, and she was just like, you know, her image was of a more curvy, rounder girl, but then she just turned her life around and she went for it. She dropped so much weight. She used to lift, she was like, fit she was strong and i was like i need to be like this girl let me know if you have any more questions or there's anything that i missed in particular and i will try and address them maybe in the next video um, but i hope this has helped you and i just wish you all the luck in the world because i know how difficult it can be thank you so much guys for watching and supporting me and just being awesome and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and follow me on my instagram i've got facebook too so you can hollow at me on there and i will see you in the next video fight up Gambatet, peace and love. Bye.